Okay, we got to the point where the bananas can fall from the tree, and this is where we are. Just to illustrate it again, when Scratchy jumps, the bananas fall from the tree because Scratchy is sending a message to all of the sprites that are listening, and the banana is listening for that message that Scratchy landed, and it's responding by dropping the bananas out of the tree. But here's the problem. Scratchy lands, the bananas fall, but if Scratchy jumps again because he's excited, the bananas fall under the ground to a place where I don't want them to go. I want them to only fall from the tree once. I don't want that movement to repeat. So the question is, how do I get that to happen? The answer is, I'm gonna somehow need my program to know when something has already happened and prevent it from happening a second time. To look at the bananas, you can see when I receive Scratchy landed, it should only happen if it's never landed before. So you could hear that I use the word if, and usually if you use the word if when you're talking about a program, you can use an if block, which is also known as a conditional statement, to get it to only happen when certain conditions are present. If something, so if, if I was to say it in English, if the bananas have not dropped yet, then drop the bananas from the tree, okay? Well, how do I know if the bananas haven't dropped? This is where variables are useful in a program, okay? I'm gonna go to variables, and you're gonna see that I have a variable here called bananas dropped that I created. Right now it's hidden, but I can show you on the screen. When the program starts, the bananas dropped can be set to some value. I'm gonna set bananas dropped when the program starts, so when the flag is clicked. I'm gonna set bananas dropped to false. Bananas dropped is false, because they haven't dropped yet. Then, under operators, I'm gonna check if bananas dropped is false. All right, what does this code say now? At the beginning of the program, right after it moves the bananas into the tree to make sure they're up there, it's gonna try to remember, the program will remember using a variable that bananas dropped is false. The bananas haven't dropped yet. So bananas dropped is false, okay? Then when I receive the scratchy landed message, it's gonna check that variable. It's only gonna drop the bananas if bananas dropped is false. So in other words, if they haven't dropped yet. So you can see that if bananas dropped is false, the bananas will drop from the tree and then the bananas will be on the ground. Once the bananas have dropped once, I'm gonna to need to change the value of bananas dropped because they will have already dropped. So once this falling motion happens, I'm gonna to need to set bananas dropped to true. Why? Because now I want my program to remember that it's true that the bananas have dropped. So now when the program runs, it will note that the bananas haven't dropped and then when it receives the scratchy landed message, it will check if the bananas have dropped and it will only drop them if bananas dropped is false. But then it will note by storing this in a variable that bananas dropped is now true. Let's see what that looks like in action. At the beginning of the program, you can see it's set bananas dropped to false. Now when I click on scratchy, oh, something went wrong. What happened? If bananas dropped Oh, I spelled false wrong. Let's try that again. If bananas dropped is bananas dropped is set to false, now Scratchy will jump and the bananas fall. So Scratchy is excited. You can see that bananas dropped is now true. So if I click Scratchy again, the bananas won't drop because it will only drop the bananas further if bananas dropped is set to false and it's not set to false it's set to true. And that's how you get this program to make the bananas listen to Scratchy, but only drop if they haven't dropped before.